Hello everyone. Today we are going to be looking at how to prepare obolo with okra. We are preparing obolo soup, but we are adding okra to the soup. These are the items we'll be needing for this delicacy today. First of all, this is our meat. This is the meat that we'll be using. This is the cow leg already parboiled with seasoning, salt, maggi, onions, and this is the stock fish also already parboiled with seasoning also. And this this is the this is the pomo that we are going to be using also and already washed and sliced. These are the dry fish that we'll be using. You know this these two and these other ones. So these are the dry fish we'll be using. These are the spices, this is the salt, this is the maggi, and this is the pepper. This is the crayfish, wow, this is the crayfish. For this soup, you need a lot of crayfish. This is the crayfish that we are going to be using. This is the ogbolo, this is like one and a half cup of ogbolo, one and a half meat cup of ogbolo. This is the ogbolo, it's a lot. So, this is the meat stock. My meat is already purple. This is some beef and shaki that I'll also be using. And these are the vegetable. This is uh, popularly known as ugu leaf, which is punky. And this is the okra that I'll be using. So these are the ingredients that we are going to be use, using to prepare this delicacy. They are already prepared, meat parboiled, they are all parboiled. The pomo. I will have to break the fish and everything is ready. So let's take a look on how to prepare this delicacy. Right now, the first thing to do is to put your pot on the fire and turn on the heat. Put your pot on the fire and turn on the heat. While the pot is on the fire, you turn in your palm oil. Allow to heat for like 20 seconds. Then reduce the heat. So I can, you can even turn off the fire. You can even turn off the heat. I reduced and I've turned off the heat. So I'm adding my ogbolo now. Don't allow the oil to be too hot. Add your bolo and stir it. Your stir till everything is dissolved. And please and please don't allow the oil to be too hot. If you notice that the oil is hot, allow it to cool down a bit. You keep stirring till the obolo is completely dissolved in the oil, like you see, completely dissolved. So at this time, you can turn on your heat back and add your meat stock. This is the meat stock. Add your meat stock. The meat stock will not be enough because of the quantity I'm cooking. I'm also going to add more water to this. So right now, I'm adding water, more water to it stir stir it very well so that there won't be lumps inside stir at this point i'm adding my crayfish the crayfish should be a lot you should use a lot of crayfish don't sprinkle one cup one spoon of crayfish inside your soup Use a lot of crayfish. Use more crayfish and less maggi. Crayfish is very healthy for the body. So add your crayfish and stir. Stir it very well. It's getting thick. I'm going to add more water. I don't want to add the water at once so that I don't make it too light. So I'm adding the water bit by bit. I'm adding more water now. stir again the ogbolo is doing very well at this point i'm going to add my 
Pepe. Add pepper to taste. Some people want it pepperish. Why some don't? So whatever one you want, going to stir. Look at how it's doing. And if it's too thick, because I'm noticing that this is thick. I'm going to add little water again. You just keep adding water and adding water till you get the consistency that you want. I'm adding more water and stir. allow to cook allow this to cook for five minutes after five minutes this is how our soup is doing the ogbolo soup just take a look at it take a look at it how is drawing very well so at this point i'm going to be adding my spices Which is the no cube so after adding the spices I stack no lumps very smooth not too thick not too light the soup is doing very well right now i'm going to be adding a pinch of salt and stir At this time, I'm going to be adding my meat. Meat is already parboiled. Add my meat. Stop fish. And the pomo. And stir. Wow, <laughs> this is looking yummy already. Wow, just take a look at it. Right now, so right now, I'm going to be adding my fish also and stir. Just stir gently so that the fish will still be intact. I carefully removed the bones from the fish and washed it thoroughly. Yeah, so let's allow the soup to cook for another five minutes. Yes, after five minutes, I'm going to stir again. The vegetables are the last thing you add. The vegetable, the pumpkin leaf, and the okra. Once you add those two items, to add those two items, know that your food is ready. Your soup is ready. This is how the soup looks like. So at this point, I'm going to be adding my vegetables. I'm going to be adding my okra and my 
um, K leaf. The okra goes first. You keep stirring till you mix the um, leaf, the okra, and the soup. They're properly mixed together. Keep stirring. This is what it looks like. Ooh, <laughs> I can't wait to have this. This is what it looks like. I will just allow to cook for two minutes and my soup is ready. Wow, look at the face of the soup. This is obolo soup with okra. Obolo soup with okra. Wow. So guys, let's go and do justice to this soup. The soup is ready. So I'm turning off the heat right away. Yes, so let's go and do justice to this soup. Yes, we are ready to do justice to this food. The food is ready and we are going to be having this soup with fufu. You can also have the soup with um, pando yam or semo or wheat or gari. But today we are going to be having it. Today we are going to be having it with fufu. So come and join me as we eat this delicious meal. Yes, very yummy. Wow, I'm sure mm. that you guys are salivating. Mm. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, until I see you in my next video, keep eating healthy. Everything that happens is motivation. <laughs>